Alright, hey guys, I got another product review for you guys today. I haven't done one in a while, and my camera battery is about to die, so I'll see if I can get this done pretty quickly. Alright, so it's a new pro it's, well, it's not really a new product, but the product called from Nyko. Um, I don't know if you guys know this before, but I've used a few of um, Nyko's products, especially their Wii stuff, because it's, and the Nintendo stuff, I mean, because it's been pretty cool lately. I mean, like, they have an ba external battery, it's also an internal battery. Um, it like, doubles your battery life, it's really nice, charges last a really long time, I love it. And then also they had an external ba they had an external only battery for the gamepad, and they also have an internal one that sold separately that increases this battery life twice as much too. Really awesome. So when I heard they had a controller out, I said, oh, "Okay, I'll give that a try." Um, as you can see, the layout is a lot different than the layout of the Pro controller and the um, the one they had for the Wii. They actually have it set up more like an Xbox 360 controller, this analog six wire. So I said, "Okay, that'll be pretty cool. I'll try that out." All right, so the main problem I have with this Wii U tablet is I, I like it and all. It's cool. You can play the screens off there. It's a little bit bulky. I know it's big, but they can't really change that. But the one thing I don't like is, one, the analog sticks are kind of weird. I mean, I don't like having them on the same axis. And two, they're way too loose. It's really hard to judge between, like, uh, half push and full push for, like, walking slowly and stuff in games. Uh, here, I'll try to give you guys an example. Let's turn on this controller. Here's a controller. I can't believe I didn't show you these guys this before. I'll give you a better look in a second. Alright, so with the gamepad, it's pretty awesome, as I like I said. Okay, so you can't really clearly see it, but I'm going to try to walk slowly around this tree. And as you can see, it's kind of choppy. It keeps pushing me in a different direction. As, and I'm, I'm just doing slight movements, and it keeps jumping. Like, I'm, I'm not even doing one-third push. And it's kind of hopping all, all over the place. Like, just trying to do a slight walk. There, and it jumps again. And as you can see, I was doing about that. It's like maybe a millimeter. Alright, let's switch it over. It should work on all Wii games. Or all Wii U games, sorry. Alright. Now I'm on this controller. Let's try the exact same thing. Slight push. A little bit choppy too, but as you can see, it's a lot smoother once you get used to it. The Wii gamepad you can't really get used to. But I guess that's a small issue for me, I guess. Um, if you guys had a similar problem with this game, you need to walk a lot. Like, when trying to platform and stuff is really hard to do with a joystick that won't cooperate, right? But this one actually works pretty nice. The feel of the controller itself is kind of strange. It's not quite, it's like, like a smooth matte finish. It's kind of rubbery. Um, the button placement's okay. I mean, I have pretty big hands. Um, so the Xbox 60 controller fits perfectly in my hand. This one's smaller, but just barely. So the contours aren't perfect. I have a little bit of trouble hitting the bumpers. I have to hit it with the middle of my finger. As you can see, it actually, actually works pretty well. Um, but other than that, I mean, it fits pretty nice. I mean, I, it doesn't give me much of a cramp. It doesn't give me like any hand cramp. Uh, I can reach most of the buttons pretty easily. Home button, uh, this is a battery meter. D-pad's pretty nice. This game doesn't use it though. And yeah, so I mean, would I recommend this? Actually, yes. I mean, like, Super Smash Bros. is coming out soon if you don't want to use a GameCube controller. Um, this has really nice joysticks to it, because it seems like all Nintendo's joysticks lately have been kind of lacking. I mean, this is the one from the, um, the, this is the Nunchuck. Pretty loose. I mean, it's a little bit better. It has more resistance than the gamepad. And this thing is just, just like the exact same one using the gamepad. It's way too loose. It's hard to judge between half and full. So, um, again, that was my main complaint with the gamepad. This fixed it. This is only about 40 bucks, so it's well worth the price. It's cheaper than the official wireless thing. And yes, this is wireless, and it's rechargeable. You just plug it into the um, Wii U when the Wii U is turned on, and it will actually charge up your uh, game, your controller. So, yep, you got your home button here. It's the U, because I guess they didn't want, want to um, infringe on Nintendo's patents. And, yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's a great controller. Really nice, lightweight. A lot lighter weight than the Xbox controller. And it's about the same weight 